So is this your first time at Banff? No, it is not my first time at Banff. It is my fourth time at Banff. Fourth time at Banff. I think, or third, where I'm forgetting one. I don't remember. But it's <laughs> definitely more than two, less than seven. Do you have any really good Banff stories? Anything that's oh, come out of Banff? Nothing that I can um, share with anyone here. Um, <laughs> many fine folk at the festival. <laughs> and you all know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, like when you come here, have, have you done a lot of like networking and, you know, production? Yeah, I mean, obviously Banff is a great place where great discussion happens, great ideas get fostered, great people come together because the world really does come to Banff. Uh, the networks, you know, we had president of ABC here, HBO's here, CBS, uh, Canadian networks, uh, Canadian producers, distributors, people from, you know, Italy are here for crying out loud. Yep. People from China are here this Ireland, year. Yeah. Speaking Chinese and Mandarin and getting translators and inviting all of us to the Chinese uh, Beijing Film Festival. So uh, it's a place definitely where the world, A, likes to come to hang out and uh, I guess try to ski or golf or take a trek up in the mountains. Uh, but more importantly, it's a place where people like to discuss, disseminate, and foster great television ideas. Has Banff had an impact on your career at all? Uh, it has, it seemingly has, not uh, because uh, this is where Little Mosque got pitched from Zarka Nawaz to awesome. West Wind, and then I guess West Wind talked to CBC here as well and during the Banff Festival, so I wasn't privy to those discussions. Okay. No one was talking about me at the time, sadly. <laughs> um, but obviously I was a great beneficiary of the discussions that happened here in the mountains. So thank you, mountains. <laughs> and do you find, you know, with Little Mosque on the Prairie um, being such a culturally influential show in Canada, do you find that, you know, having everyone here in Canada are more open-minded to, you know, cult more cultural friendly shows? I think so. I mean, I don't think a show like that um, could have been created in another Western world. Um, uh, in another Western world country other than Canada. Um, mm -hmm. And definitely I think the CBC was the only network that could have put it on mm -hmm. in Canada. I think a lot of people, because this, we're talking you know, not too long after the horrific events of 9-11, right. so I think there was a lot of fear, a lot of ignorance, of course, uh, and still anger. Um, so for our show to have even come along on the television scene at all was a pretty <laughs> fortunate thing to happen for everyone, I think, for non-Muslims and Muslims alike, mm -hmm. to be able to, A, laugh at themselves or laugh at stereotypes, but also just to kind of get into the head of, oh, wait a second, they're on a weekly basis, I'm seeing these kinds of peoples and I'm learning something. And, uh, you know, we've gone on to be around 90, in over 90 countries around wow. the world. We've won humanitarian awards that Muhammad Ali and Bishop Desmond Tutu have won. Amazing. We've been inducted into the Museum of Radio and Television Sciences in New York and LA. So it, it, it's definitely an important show, uh, but it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Canada or the CBC. And I guess we're saying it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Banff. You heard it here. You heard it right here, the height <laughs> of entertainment. And <laughs> are you looking to, um, is there anything you're looking forward to for the rest of the festival or? Uh, I love coming to the festival because the possibilities are all endless. Um, so let's make sure that we keep those possibilities endless. As soon as we put limits on things uh, at a place uh, that's all about fostering ideas, then, then it gets to be pretty boring. So let's keep the world coming. Let's keep telling everyone, come world, come. And we will come to you. Um, uh, and let's keep making great uh, content. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Good interview.